Hi, my name is Kenny Paranoster, and today I will be talking about my microculture group, Goff. Now, before I start talking about my microculture group, I will first explain what Goff is. Goff is played between individuals that compete against each other to try to get the lowest score possible. The person with the lowest score will win, and the person with the highest score will get cut. Now, to get the lowest score, you want to try and get as little strokes as possible by using different golf clubs to get the ball into the hole. There were three different pars on a golf course. There's a par 3, a par 4, and a par 5. Now, in a par 3, if you hit the ball and it goes right into the hole, that's considered a hole in one. If you hit the ball in two strokes, that's considered a birdie. And if you hit the ball in three strokes, that's considered a par. Now, for a par 4 and par 5, it's different. If you hit the ball in two strokes, it's considered an eagle, and if you hit the ball in three strokes on a par four, that's considered a birdie, or on a par five, that's considered an eagle. There are over two million beginner golfers each year in the U.S. Over 456 million rounds of golf are played annually, and the golf industry is worth approximately 70 billion annually. I became a part of the 2 million beginner golfers when I was 17 years old. I can still remember the first time I went golfing with my dad. It was a new feeling and experience that I will never forget. It was a different culture and environment than I was used to. The experience I have had in being involved in the golf community is why I consider this to be a microculture. Being a golfer, there are many beliefs and values within the game. There are many things a golfer must follow and abide by when playing golf. For example, if you plan on playing golf, you have to first have a tee time at the desired golf course you plan on playing at. You cannot just show up and expect to have an opening ready for you. When playing with other people, it is courteous and proper golf etiquette to not make any noise when a golfer is about to take a swing, especially on the opening drive. If you have ever seen golf on TV, then you know that when the pros are about to take the swing, there are people waving around quiet signs and can only make noise and clap after the golfer has taken his or her swing. With me playing at a public course, I am mostly playing with other people I haven't met before. So it is especially important to not make any noise and have golf etiquette. Growing up, I was always told that golf is one of the sports where respect and patience are two very important traits to have when playing golf which is why I am always making sure not to make any noise when someone is playing. People that participate in golf are typically seen as people that belong to the higher class. This is mostly due to the fact that a membership at a typical country club is very expensive. The equipment used to play golf is more expensive compared to other sports, and a game of golf will cost a good amount of money. For someone like me, during the warmer weather, I go to the driving range once or twice a week, and I usually only go to the golf course when my friends or dad want to go. Getting a tee time can be difficult sometimes, so I usually try and book one a week or two in advance, or else I can miss out. Now for people that play regularly, there is a thing called a county card which you could get to play at local golf courses near you at a discounted price than what they usually cost. It's only a small fee that you pay once a year, and then, you get, and then you get to pay a discounted fee at any golf course you desire that is around you. The traits of a golfer are very unique and different when compared to other athletes of sports. To start off, golfers have to be self-motivated. It is very important for a golfer to be self-motivated, as the game of golf is forever changing, and anything can happen in the game of golf. What this means is golf isn't a team sport. It is up to individuals to practice or take lessons on their own and put in the time and effort to improve their game and abilities. Another important trait that golfers must possess is patience. Because golf can be unknown as in you could walk up and play a great game and the next time you come in play badly. The game of golf requires patience and humility knowing that you can make mistakes when you play and not to get upset often. Confidence is another important trait that a golfer should have while playing. It is important that you have pride in yourself while playing and believe that you're good. If you have ever seen a professional golfer, 
you may have noticed that they may act a little cocky. While this may seem like a bad thing, since professional golfers are very good at what they do, it is important for them to act like they do too. On average, about 77.5% of golfers in the U.S. are male. This is primarily the dominant culture. According to the National Golf Association, about 24% of golfers who play on the course are female, as compared to the 76% who are male. The difference between the professionals and the people who play golf just for fun and pleasure is that the pros live and breathe golf. These are the individuals that are separated from regular people. Because the PGA Tour requires the best of the best, it is important and pretty much mandatory for the pros to be on the course almost every day, practicing and improving as much as they can. In the world, golf is played in 85% of countries worldwide. Over 34,000 golf courses are found around the world. The PGA, or the Professional Golfers Association, has a tournament every year with a total of 245 golfers from over 80 countries. The PGA had its first tour in 1929. 3.6 million people watched the PGA Tour coverage when they were playing. The money receives $10 million in prize money. Other than the PGA Tour, they have four major professional golf calendar events. The Masters, the U.S. Open, the U.S. PGA, and the Open. In the U.S., we are known as a country with the most golf courses. Over 456 million rounds of golf are played annually. Approximately 2 million Americans are employed in the golfing industry. In addition, every year several billion dollars is raised for charity through golf. Since golf has so many features to it that distinguishes it from other sports, it is clear that so many people belong to it, which makes it a microculture. If you have the patience for golf, it can be very it can be a very relaxing game that many enjoy. There isn't a day where I'm not thinking about playing golf and the feeling of belonging to something you enjoy is very rewarding and exciting.